All right, kids, here we go. This is my first attempt ever at this crap. Beekeeping. What I'm about to do tonight is check my hives for the first time this year since I received them. This here is hive number one. I bought this from Beekeeper Wayne. This is an eight frame hive. I purchased five frames from him. This here is a 10 frame hive. I purchased from a fellow named George, a beekeeper. This here is an empty frame, empty eight frame, high box, ready to go. I want to inspect these frames. This is the first time I've inspected them since they're on my property. Oh shit, what the hell's today? 722. I got this first high box probably a month ago, maybe. Added the second box two weeks ago, and then the honey box last week. Like, I'm a novice, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I just, I love the hobby, man, it's fascinating. I want to tonight check the hive. I'm going to check the 10 frame first because the beekeeper I got them from said they were about to, they may be swarming. So, what I want to do is try to cut that down. I have an empty hive box. And I want to attempt what they call a split. I've never done it. 50-50, I'm going to pull it off. What I want to do is find, look, I want to inspect all these frames in this 10 frame box here. I'm going to look and see if the queen is laying, see if I can see your larva, eggs, uh, queen cells, drone cells, all that kind of stuff, and determine if I can find the queen, I'll leave her here in this box and I'll take so the frames with the new queen cells on them and the frames just to the side of them and transfer them over to this box and make a new colony. That way there I ain't got to buy bees no more. Uh, the reason I beekeep is A, because of an ex-supervisor of mine, Eric Shepkowski. He's got me into the hobby. Um, I've been fascinated by it. I'm a truck driver by trait. Um, I used to haul bees years ago from New York to Florida. Fascinated me. Uh, I never really learning, really enjoyed learning something till I was older in life. In high school, I could give a shit, more into partying. But now, as I get older, and, and you know, time is short and life is valuable, it's cool to learn new stuff. And this is why I do this hobby. So let's go tonight. I guess we're gonna inspect for the first time. Got my little chair here, my beer cooler. Got my smoker going. Not gonna have any smoke and just light smoke them, let them know you're there. And then I'm gonna crack the tops. I'm just gonna do a 10 frame tonight, I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm probably biting off more than I can chew as it is anyways, but tonight I decided to wear my gloves. The previous night I've come down here, well in fact before I came down here tonight just to set the tribe up, I tripod up. I got stung twice, once in the back of the head and once in the arm. Again, but I'm not worried about it. Catch the stinger and get it out of you, don't hurt. Oh. I want to grab the camera and show you folks the bees. Maybe I can focus in. Yeah, baby. I have to admit, the last couple guys I met, beekeepers here from Canisius, New York. One actually lives halfway down Canisius Lake, and the second guy I got the bees from uh, lives all the way at the end of Canisius Lakes. This box of bees came here. Well, I gotta backtrack a little bit here, real quick. Um, bees I had on my property for the last three years died off last year and I don't know why but now the more that I'm learning about this hobby I wish I paid more attention than just having a box of bees on my land and just watch them fly in and out but it's more fascinating as we go here to watch and learn stuff so I don't know what killed my bees um, the majority of the thinking around here last year was a harsh 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 winter so I'm going to attribute it and 
thank God it was that, not some disease. But now that I know the diseases like the American fowl brood and the mites and stuff, um, I can look. And I'm going to just like to get people in this hobby, man. This is a cool hobby. So what I'm going to do is here, this is the inner cover. I've already taken the outer cover off, man. There's a bunch of bees in here. Smokers in hand, watch them, they're going to start going now, man. I'm pissing them off. I'm going to take the outer cover off. Inner cover. Gently. The only reason I'm using my hive tools, I lost my, or I didn't lose, I left my bee brush. Left my bee brush up in the house. What I want to do is clean the wax off. I got a container for the burr comb. I'm learning if you're a beekeeper, keep every freaking thing. Alright, now I've got a bird come on top, actually, so I'm not gonna actually. I might clean this one up a little bit. Alright. Buzzle, buzzle, buzzle. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my inner cover. Oh! Get that small fish. I'm back in the high for a minute. You ain't got to blister him with the smoke lightly. I'm going to leave the high cover over here in case I got to place something over here, which I'm probably going to do is the inner cover. What I want to do is seeing how I got an empty eight frame high body next to me, ready to go. There's another, uh, I'm going to use that in case they find the queen on one of the frames. I'll set the frame right there and leave it there. Taking this off, the inner cover off the empty frame, or the empty high box here. Alright, here we go. I'm going to start, I guess I'm going to start left to right. I'm actually going to take. Frames out. I'm only anticipating five frames. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three frames on the outside. Take one out. We read about a lot about this checkerboarding, so I'm gonna try that. And folks, if you got any criticism, let me know because I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm a novice beekeeper. I just want to get in the hobby, so that's what I'm doing. It's a cool hobby, man. Cool hobby.
careful where you position your fingers, I guess, not to smush bees. I'm going to try to look for the queen, but I doubt she's here on this side because I do not see anything here but drawn out comb. Which is kind of cool because these frames are brand new. Oh shit, maybe two weeks ago. This is going to be R rated because of language. A lot of drawn out comb. This is real cool, man. Alright, so there's no excitement on there. Frame two, left to right. Careful not to squish the girls. I got the smokers off to my left here and it's drifting a nice waft of smoke here, so it ain't really hyper. Not bad because I can remember the beekeeper when he showed us this, these bees here. That's all empty, drawn out comb. No eggs, no nothing like that, no larva, no sign of anything. Oh, I still got my girls over here, come on. Mm. Frame four. I'm gonna bet you there's some honey on this one. I also want to look for food, pollen. Just going up other than the honey. Oh yeah, man, it's cool shit here, folks. Like I said, I already the beekeeping. Oh. Wow, what I'm seeing here, from what I've learned so far, capped brood and honey. Honey over here, capped honey, this is all capped honey. I want to take a couple seconds here real quick, like, oh, there's a big drone, oh crap, big one. Actually, right there, there's a cell right here. I dare see that. Oh man, they'd be swarming by now. That's a queen cell. Looks like something's hatching come out of there. My amateur beekeeping crap here. Wow, a lot of brood here. Oh. Larva, no kidding. I see larva right here. That's cool. So there is a queen here and she's laying good. Larva, big larva here. Uh, I don't see no eggs yet. Fourth frame in. I see larva. Looks to me like. Um, they're filling some of the things with the cells with honey. So, but I've got an area of brood right here, which is kind of cool. And she started, she's, this here is all larva up in here. Um, this is kind of cool, man. I'm going, ooh, ooh. 
nice swarm here. I'm going to clean out the bottom of this. But I'm taking the speed there. I'm taking the clean, folks. Quite possibly, possibly is right here. I'm going to pay attention right here. I'm going to leave it out for a little bit and pay attention. Man, I hope she is. That'd be easy for me. These are drone cells, I do believe, because they're sticking out way higher than the most. Come on. Ah, uh, they're building a... Cool stuff, folks. Well, so far it's been what one, two drawn out frames. Oh, did I screw up? Yeah, I did, folks. I screwed up. The first two frames were, I'll be careful putting this back in here. Because I think the queen's right here in the corner, but man, maybe it should take a couple minutes. Oh man, this is some cool stuff, folks. Honey, brood, a small pattern. I think these are drones. I'm going to set this over here on top of one of my outer covers just for now. Come on. I want to inspect this uh, third frame. I think I skipped it. That's me, you dumbass. But man, a lot of bees, man. They ain't too awful bad. Not bad. Okay, that's all honey. Honey here, honey throughout here. We'll flip it. Nothing. This was a five frame uh, hive to begin with. I might have should have waited until I added the second box. But I know what I'm talking about. Add it. They still yet to draw a comb out on this. No sign of the queen. She needs to be close to this kind of frame anyway. Man, no sign of queen cells or anything. back in. Oh. Oh. They don't like that shit. These are my frames I put in. I switched with the guy because I could tell by the staples. Uh, there ain't nothing drawn out on it, just bees. I ain't split nothing off this side so far. Three, four, five, six frame in out of ten frames.
effect. Whoa. Not bad at all, man. All capped brood right here. Honey. Do I see any sign of pollen or anything? Ooh, what do we got here to bond it, folks? A lot of activity in the bottom. Ooh! Oh. I do believe these are cells here at the bottom. Those are swarm cells, so. The beekeeper did tell me they were good. this frame might, or this box might swarm, so. Be more careful. But still not bad laying. It's all, all larva up through here, all larva up through here. This is all larvae. I don't see any, uh. Folks, man, this is no shit. This is all larva down through here. Oh my freaking god! I got a good queen here, a strong queen. I want to see. I want to see eggs. I see a lot of larva though, man. It's like holy shit. This frame's almost filled out with larvae, un uncapped larvae. This side is wow, all larvae too. All as I'm holding it from half frame going up towards the top is all larvae. Oh, little larvae. Little larvae, little larvae, little larvae. Little larvae. I ain't doing anything yet. I ain't seen anything that they're gonna. Two swarm cells on the bottom of this frame. I don't know how many times I can keep on capping this hive and checking for the queen, but I'm not really in the mood to check for the queen tonight. It's more fascinating up by all the larvae I'm seeing. So I'm haunting around the outer edges. The whole center is filled with larvae and cat brood. I'm going to venture out. That's a, that's a good frame right there, man. Ooh. All right. Seven. A lot of cat brood, some honey. Uh, some cat brood, honey. Was, oh, there's a larva. Oh, no shit, there's a, uh, there's cells of pollen. Oh, no kidding. That's kind of cool. I wish I was good with the camera, folks, but I'm really not. I can describe it to you. This is really freaking cool. Um, right here, there's like one, two, three, maybe a dozen cells filled with yellows and oranges and stuff like that, like powdery looking stuff. That's pollen and stuff. Cat brood all throughout here, some honey throughout here, honey, capped honey all through here. Uh, uh, everything I've been taught, this, these are swarm cells right here starting, so oh, I'll keep an eye on them, I guess. Larvae down here, larvae, 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 I see no eggs though. No eggs yet, maybe, maybe she's over here at the end of the box where all the action's going on. So I've seen a lot of larvae, so the queen she's laying. I've seen no eggs yet. Going to frame eight. And like I said folks, if I'm doing anything wrong, please leave a comment and let me know, but I'm a novice beekeeper. 
I was thrown into this. I can tell you right now, man, this freaking frame here is just loaded with honey. Capped brood, people. Holy shit, the whole frame is capped brood. Oh, um, larvae, larvae. Larvae, larvae. Oh, uh, capped brood. The whole frame here in the center, the dark stuff you see is all capped brood, which is babies. Bees hatching sometime soon. Wow, there's a big old drone bee right here. There's a drone. He's a, he's a big ass bitch. Um, man, I swept my ass off. Alright, underneath the frame. Not bad. Oh, other side is all uh, cat brood. Oh my god, I got a loaded freaking hive here, folks. Definitely want to, oh yeah, all larvae. I want to check this shit out here. All right, it's all right. I want to check this stuff out here. It's supposed to cool off here in the next couple of days, so I'm going to give it a break here. I'm not even going to bother. Again, I have not yet looked in the queen. I don't want to some other day. I will when I get some bright sunlight on. I want to. And I'm a dumbass. So I actually kind of want to mark her. So I might invest in a, a queen marker or something. I really want to mark it to make it easier on me because... Oh, come on, bees. Come on, I don't want to squish you. Come on, man. I'm glad I got my gloves on right now for this crap. All right. Frame nine. Honey. Pound. Oh, no kidding. Alright, this, really this is a good start of all honey here. This is cat brood here. This might be this might be cat honey down through here. No way. There's a bee coming out right here. Right there. Not on my finger. Right there, that bee come out, just come out of there. Born before your very eyes, people. No kidding. Oh, here comes another one. Right here. I don't know if you can see it, but look right here. Right above my finger. There's another one coming out, starting to come out. I watched one come out from over. Here comes another one right here. Right here. Here comes another new bee right here. Wow, he's silver in color. Look at this shit. Oops. Wow. There goes a new bee right there. I wonder if that's a nurse bee tending to it. New bee right here. Brand new, just come out of the cell. Time of that crap ain't cool, people. Wow, oh, I don't want to lose the two beards up there in this frame, man. No way. Oh. Alright, I want to check them out, though. I'm going to shake them off that frame. I think I'm going to set this frame aside here for a minute because I want to check the end frame out before I stuff them all back in that stuff. I'm just going to stuff Honey. Oh wow, this is big food right here, man. Big food. All oh, the start of honey, this is all capped honey right here. Um, down here I'm seeing all kinds of stuff. Honey and pollens and stuff like that. All different colors, uncapped. Very cool, very cool. So 
Man, I think my hive's doing good. I just need to find a queen, man. Tomorrow night I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to check this hive out here, both boxes. For sure. Get all these back together. Oh, my camera's still going. They're a little angry. But I don't see no evidence of them guys swarming at all, man. I really don't. I see maybe one swarm cell down there at the best. That was kind of cool, man. I seen three beer, or three beers. Yeah, I seen three beers. All right, three beer bees come out of cells. 